Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to quit your job you just started, you dirty dog. Now, I'm gonna go over my three-step formula, three, BDP, be going over kind of some rules of thumb to do this as well. Hey, so I'm gonna go over my three-step kind of formula for quitting a job that you know you recently started. And I work for myself now. I'm kind of an entrepreneur, but back when I was working jobs, I'd quit jobs that I just started and never had anything bad come of it. And I'll tell you a little story later about you know how I really you know actually made money from quitting my job. But let's go into this first. So first is B, and B stands for B. brief okay be brief don't go into too much detail don't let your boss know you know that he's that he's a total d-bag and don't talk about you know these co-workers that you hate and that are stealing stuff from the company and you can't stand the customers and you know it's an inhumane workplace and you're underpaid and overworked don't go into any of that just be brief okay be very brief just say Handing in my notice. I'm not going to be working here anymore. Thanks, but no thanks. Don't even say no thanks. Okay? Just be brief. Say, handing in my notice. Discreet. Being discreet means don't give information. Don't let the person know. When you resign from a job that you just started, don't let them know that you're going to a competitor. Don't let them know that you really hate the job or that you hate the customers or that you hate the product or you think they're scamming people or it goes against your morals. They don't need to know why you're quitting and they don't need to know where you are going. That's your business. It's your business. They don't need to know you're starting your own business, whatever it is. That's you, baby. So be discreet. Again, no going in to personal ego trips and emotions, telling them what they can do or why you hated it. You know, it goes against my morals. It's not you, it's me. It's just my morals don't, you know, go with your company's products. That's a horrible thing, you know. You know, that because you're attacking them. Don't go into any of those things. Again, brief and discreet. Last point here. Last point is be positive. Again, you never know when you're gonna have to go back into the workforce. You know, you might not be quitting to start your own business. You might not even be moving industries, okay? And chances are, if you're quitting and you're gonna stay in the same industry, you may need a job there again. So always be positive. Tell your boss, thank you for the opportunity to work here. Just say, I'm moving on and I'm handing in my two weeks notice. There's not much more you need to say, okay? Be positive. Thank them for the opportunity. Don't go on the attack. I know so many people that, you know, just love to flip tables and talk about how everybody's a-holes and d-bags and stuff like that. Don't do that. Be positive. And also what this will do is it'll also cause your boss to like mind trip because if you're positive and you don't tell people what you're doing, people get really curious. You know, they're like, why are you quitting then? What happened? Did you win the lottery? Did you inherit some big money? Did you start a business and hit the, you know, make a lot of money? You know, what are you doing? People are always wondering, or are you working for a competitor? And the less information you give, the better. Because if you keep your boss guessing, you know, what, what happened to me was I did this and my boss, he had no idea where he stood. And I think, in his mind, I think he was thinking, He's trying to steal some of my clients from me. So what he did was he said, look, John, you don't have to do anything. You just, I just have to CC you on emails and you have to reply every once in a while. If the client specifically calls you out, he says it'll take you less than four hours per month, okay, of work, but I'm gonna continue paying you $6,000 a month. So I was basically making $1,000 an hour. My boss was just doing it to hedge himself against me stealing a client. Even though we had employment agreements and all that sort of stuff, he was so worried about me stealing clients 
that he was going to pay me a big paycheck because I was so brief, discreet, and positive. So if this helped you out, uh, let me know in the comments what was the most helpful for you to quit your job that you just started. Was it being brief or was it being discreet or was it being positive? Because I know all of these things are hard. Also, if you like this video, like it. Love to see your likes. Let's do that boom, 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 boom. Like, 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 like. And subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more information on, you know, quitting your job, working remotely, and also, you know, working for yourself. I teach people how to create their own internet business. Uh, there's a link somewhere in the comments if you want to check out more about what I do to make money. And, um, but also happy to have been able to share this information with you.